Yo, what's up guys? My name is AFC Adino and I've got a PvP game for you guys. Uh, I'm playing against Kiwi Kids. Um, I think if I leave with Rotom, uh, Rotom pretty much has a good matchup against this team. And that way I don't instantly get threatened by Weaver. If he does uh, decide to leave with Weaver. Because uh, the other leads are okay for me. Uh, I just don't switch in well to Weaver with this team. Uh, I can fold switch here. If he knocks off, that's fine. Actually goes into Among Us. I get a really good turn here. Because now I'm able to get in my Weaver basically. Uh, I could. And I could really pressure him. See if it's Black Sludge. It is. And. Yeah. Icicle Crash should knock him out. Um, but Knockoff just threatens his team. I don't want Weaver to sleep either though. But I don't think he should be staying in here. Uh, his Clefable is definitely his safest play. But if I knock off the leftovers from Clefable, that's also really nice. I'm just gonna knock off, as he does end up making the safe play into Clefable. And we knock off the leftovers from Clefable, and that makes it m much easier to take down Clefable. Because uh, Clefable is re really reliant on the leftovers. Don't want to go hard Heatran. I just guess he could carry T Wave. He should kind of go for Soft Boil here, but. I go Among Us, uh, I can basically scout what he wants to do. He actually doubles into the Gliscor, maybe predicting my Among Us or Heatran. Uh, which isn't which isn't a which is an okay play. But I'll go hip out in here. Uh, if it's a sword stance set, I am able to get up my stealth rocks and basically phase him out. Because even with sword stance, he's not gonna do that much. He actually has knockoff. So roost, knockoff. Um could be his defogger, because I don't see another defogger on his team, but I'll go for rocks and we'll find out. He shows Earthquake, so Roost, knock off Earthquake. Uh, you sh typically, you, you run Roost on Gliscor unless you have Protect and Defog. Okay, so that's his whole moveset. I'm still uh, going for my rocks here, because his Gliscor doesn't threaten me anyway. And if I had Stealth Rocks, actually PP maxed. <laughs> And then uh, Stealth Rock has more PP than uh, Defog, but he actually brings in the Galio, so Galio taking Sandstorm damage, and let's see. Okay, we don't see leftovers, so it's most likely Specs. I am going into my Tornadus uh, as an offensive pivot there. But that way, if he doubles, I still have a nice mon in. And that's definitely Choice Specs, because I am Assault Fest Tornadus. But I'll be able to U-turn. Unfortunately, he did, did burn me, but on the other hand, uh, he cannot uh, use Spore on my Tornadus anymore, because Tornadus is already burned. He brings in a Jirachi. This U-turn doesn't do... Well, considering I'm burned, that's actually quite some damage. Um, not sure if it's Joyce Card, because it's his only speed control. His Clefable could still run Stealth Rock. Because if I go Weavile here and he... Uh, appears to be Choice Scarf, then I'm in a really bad position because he gets the U-turn off and I don't want to take the U-turn. So I think Rotom is a really good mid-ground play because Hippowden doesn't have the Rocky Helmet anymore. But if I get in Rotom, I get the slow Volt Switch in case he gets up rocks and then I can bring in my Weavile. So... Hmm, and I already have rocks up, so I, I got Rotom. If I didn't have rocks up, I would have gone Hippowden. Uh, because my rocks are already up and he shows leftovers so it's most likely his stealth rocker then uh, unless it's wish protect u-turn iron head but yeah i have to go for volt switch goes for his own rocks and i get the slow u-turn off and i think i have to go weevil here unfortunately i do have to take the stealth rock damage but Having Weaver in right now puts me in a really good position because um, nothing really switches him well. And that now he has to predict what I'm going to do. But I, I will go Weaver. And since I already knocked off his Clefable, he might just go Clefable again. And if I lock myself into Crash, he will go back into Sujirachi. So if I go for Pursuit here on the Switch, let's go, let's go. And we. We knock out the Jirachi, nice. So there's no no stealth rocks anymore for the Jirachi, which is really cool. He brings in his own Weaver, 
Uh, you can definitely go for the pursuit here. But I should still live. What I'm going to do is I bring in my Hippowden. Because, yeah, he goes for pursuit. And I'm still able to defog uh, his rocks away. And if I do, uh, then he won't be able to get a rocks again. But yeah, I get in Hippowden, get some sand, some chip off, and now I'm going to go for roar. Because if he goes back into his glide square, I might be able to roar him back into the Weavile. And my Hippowden lives an icicle crash from full. Now instead he goes into Amoongus, uh, that's a pretty good uh, scouting move. Goes into Clefable, and Clefable takes rocks and stealth, uh, stealth rock and sandstorm damage, so it's unaware most likely. Goes for Wish now and I'm going to go for Earthquake here. And what I can do now guys is I can go for the Roar, because it goes through Protect. Yeah, goes for Moonblast, and I Roar him into the Amoongus. Okay. Well, at least Clefable won't be able to switch in anymore, because I have Stealth Rock up. So he cannot switch into any attack, because he will basically go down. And I go to Nadus here. As he goes for Giga. And... I yeah, since I'm not able to knock off with Weavile for a while, I think it's better to just knock him off right here. Makes it easier to take down the Among Us later on. Goes for the double Giga Drain. And now I'm gonna U-turn. Cause Sludge Bomb could knock me out with together with the burn from here. I'll U-turn. He might even go for spore, so but if my Heatron is asleep, it's not that big of a deal. Because Heatron can always wake up against the Among Us. As he actually goes for Sludge Bomb, okay. And I'm at this point. I think I just go for Magma Stormer. He goes Gliscor, I can force Gliscor to go for the Roost. And if he defogs, it also kind of helps me. Because then I can get him Weavile again. Yeah, I keep him at 41% because of the effect from Magma Storm. And I think now going Rodon. Nah, actually, we, because we know his moveset. I want to use sub opportunity to actually heal my Hippowden. I need Hippowden to live an Icicle cr to be able to live an Icicle Crash as, as he goes for a Roost, so I can freely go for the Slack off here. And Gliscord doesn't really touch me. I don't touch him back, but I can get my Hippowden healthy and roar him into something he doesn't like. As he goes for Earthquake. Slack off. I'm going to slack off again. Because if he crits me here and I face him into Weavile, he can actually kill me. Yeah. And now I'm at the highest amount of health I could be, so I'm going for a roar as he earthquakes again. I roar him and we get him into Weavile. Perfect. But Weavile taking a uh, style or a sandstorm and he should be in range of earthquake. I should live Icicle Crash. But he might not even go for it. But because I live it, I think I can just stay in. Because knocking out this Weavile basically means um, his whole team gets walled. Goes for Icicle Crash, and I live it, and, <laughs> and he flinches me. If he didn't flinch me, uh, the Weavile would have been gone, and his whole team would basically get walled. Now I have to look for another opportunity. At least I know it's Bandit. Uh, now I need to look for a way to heal my Hippowden back up again. This really sucks. Um, he should not go into Gliscor because I could click Hydro Pump here as well. Because it also knocks out the Weavile. And if I Volt Switch on his Amoongus, I cannot bring in my uh, I cannot bring in my Weavile because he dies to rocks. So he has to go into his Amoongus. Yeah, that's got Among Us. Yeah, yeah, in a really awkward position, yeah. Um, yeah he has rocks up, so Tornado takes a shitload. And he can just sludge bomb me. I think I have to go Hippo. Because I do have a bit of special defense investment into this Hippo. So hopefully his Giga Drain does less than half. 
And I need to slack off as much as possible. Basically to the point where he does... Yeah, okay, that's 45. I need to slack off to the point where... Earthquake from... A Gliscor doesn't knock me out. That way I can heal off on the Gliscor. And if, we, if he puts me to sleep, I at least get hit out and a bit healthy. And I can still try to wake up against this Gliscor. Yeah, it goes for Spore. And... Yeah, I just I just have to go back into Heatran. But, but yeah, I kind of now I kind of need to keep up those rocks. So I cannot really defog. He doubles into his glide score. Um, if he clicks earthquake and I bring in hip out, and he can still beat me down if I get a lot of sleep turns. So I guess I have to go Rotom here, which is unfortunate. He knocks me he off. Um, at least the knockoff from Weavile does also reduce damage now. Or doesn't get the bonus damage. Go for Pain Split, and luckily he goes Among Us. So I get Rotom a bit healthy. And I'm going to Volt Switch here. He stays in, meaning I can always go into my Heatran. He can also not put it asleep because Hippowden is asleep. I now have to play the long game just because I missed. Uh, just because he flinched my Heatran with Icicle. Uh, he flinched my Hippowden with Icicle Crash. Um, now, because he's gonna die to Magma Storm if he stays in. And he cannot really lose Among Us because that, that opens up my Rotom. I am going hard Hippowden here. Because he should go Gliscor. So I summon the Sandstorm as he does an Eco Glide Square, and I can use one turn to burn. The first turn is always guaranteed. Uh, it's always a guaranteed sleep turn. But at least I'll burn one. Goes into Keldeo, so Keldeo taking rocks and Sandstorm chip. And I can go Among Us. If he doubles into his Weevil, it still takes rocks and Sandstorm. Goes for Skald. And he burns me out. 100% burn chance on the Skeleto. Let me buy that thing right now. Uh, I am going to go for Giga because this also prevents the switch into Weaver. I cannot allow it to come in. And if he goes Clefable, Clefable also dies. He goes, he makes a safe play, goes into Gliscor. I at least get a bit of recovery on his Gliscor. Fortunately, the burn uh, kind of negates my healing. Uh, but with Regenerator, I should be close to full HP. And now I'm just going to switch again. Um, let's see what he does. Goes for a knockoff. At this point, I think I'm just going to defog. Because hip out, I'm, I'm in such a bad position. Uh, we've all dies to rocks. If I switch hip out and into rocks, it might not wake up. Uh, two more turns, yeah. So he brings in the Among Us, safe play. I at least remove the rocks and I Volt Switch again. Uh, if he stays in, I can bring in my. Uh, can bring in my Heatran. Oh, uh, Giga, still get some recovery here. Now I can bring in my Tornadus just to proc the regenerate. It's still because Tornadus still threaten threaten uh, the Clefable, and if he goes Gliscor, I can actually U-turn. And if he stays in, uh, I can bring in either Hippo or Rodom. Actually stays in, so most likely knock knockoff coming out. I'm bringing in my Rodom right now. And I'm not going to go for Pain Split this time because he still has his Clefable left. I'm going to Volt Switch. Because if he goes Among Us, I get him a Weavile basically. And he goes Clefable. So Clefable, gone. Nice. And now I need my Heat from way less. It's still uh, important for the Among Us. But I need to bring in something that doesn't allow 
we uh, without the comment freely. So I'm going into my heat trend because heat heat trend should live a knockoff, and then I can just knock him out with, with uh, Earth Power. But he decides to bring in Caldeo instead. He could make a double into his Weaver, which would suck. Um. I still think going Amoongus is going to be my play. Okay, luckily he doesn't make the double and just clicks Hydro. And I don't, I'm not really in a position to double, so I go for Giga. Because if he Hydros again, I lose a Mon if I switch. I have to go for Giga here. Giga Drain also doesn't allow a Weavile to come in anyway. But he Hydros again, so... And I get off some nice, beautiful damage on his Caldeo. And I'm still going to Giga. Uh, since it still gives me a bit of recovery. Yeah, his Caldeo is really low. So a few more Sandstorm hits should do the trick. He can also not Wish Pass anymore. Because Clefable is gone. And Jirachi is also gone if Jirachi did have the, the Wish. And there's also no healing wish because so every bit of damage damage I get on Weaver and Galileo is permanent. Yeah, he brings in the glide score, so I do get some extra recovery. And with the regenerator, I should basically be at full again. And at this point I can bring in my Hippowden just to summon the sandstorm as he doubles into Galileo. Okay, so we get some sandstorm chip off here. And now I'm less afraid to go into my Among Us. Uh, because if he does go Weaver, he does take Sandstorm Chip. However, I can still not lose this man. But I know Rodom takes a knockoff. Uh, Rotom takes an Icicle Crash if he goes for a knockoff. I can try to wake up with uh, with my Hip um, But maybe I could also sack Weavile. Yeah, Weavile still has. Now that rocks are gone, Weavile does threaten him. And it's my one of my best ways of killing his Gliscor. Uh, and it also kills Keldeo. Uh, because Keldeo is really low. I don't think, I don't think sacking Weavile now is the play. Having that pressure. So if I have to sack anything, I think Rodom is going to be my sack. It actually goes for Icicle Crash. That does to it Kiyomi, however, I don't have to let Rodom die just yet. I can just go into Heatran. As he Icicle Crashes again, meaning. Uh, he takes some extra sandstorm chip. Now he's most likely forced to switch out. So I am going into Weavile. If the Icicle crashes again, so be it. But he brings in the Glide score. And now I actually get my Icicle crash off. So I now I basically get a kill. His Caldeo is so low. Among Us dies. Uh, his Weavile dies. Glide score dies. He decides to sack Among Us, so now I actually don't need my Heatran anymore. But yeah, we get rid of this man. He brings in his Weavile. Um, he's probably going for the Pursuit. But still, in case he doesn't... Maybe, maybe he doesn't. I'm going to sack Rotom. If he goes for a Pursuit, that's fine. Uh, I get an extra turn with my Hippowden to wake up. Let's go for Pursuit, so fortunately Weavile goes down, um, but I can bring in my Hippowden and every time I get chip off on Galio or Weavile, it's permanent, so that, that is definitely going to help me. And I can always sack Rotom later as well. I just need to try to wake up with Hippowden. Because Galio, so Galio taking some extra chip, don't wake up unfortunately. And again, I go Among Us. He doubles into Weaver, I'll just sack Rodom. Hmm. Let's see. 
the second Rotom, he takes Sandstorm Chip. But on the other hand, Tornadus might also not be needed, however, if Amoongus cannot kill to, uh, Keldeo, then Tornadus can. He goes for Icicle Crash. Yeah, we're getting some extra Sand Chip. So yeah, he only has two more turns, basically. You can get in Heatstrand, basically, to force him out. Because it doesn't... His attack doesn't do anything. I could double, but I'd rather go for Magma Storm here. If I connect on Gliscor, it's gonna be some... If I connect on Gliscor, he can basically not double. Meaning I can get in my... Uh... <laughs> Fortunately, I miss. Because uh, now he could potentially double. Which is annoying. I have to go Tornadus first. Yeah. If I actually had connected, uh, he couldn't double. But this is fine as well. He made the wrong double. Because Tornadus is faster than Galdeo. And I can just U-turn. Because if he stays in, I, I just switch into Amoongus. If he goes Gliscor, I can go into Hippowden, get up my Sandstorm, and try to wake up as well. <laughs> um, the thing is, I don't really kill Gliscor anymore, because I lost Rotom and Weavile, but the thing is, he doesn't kill me either. But I can still roar him into Weavile or Keldeo. When I have Sandstorm up and they take permanent chip. Both of, both of them only have... Can only live one more sand turn, so... There's not much doubling for him left. So he goes Keldeo now. Keldeo taking the chip. I still didn't wake up. I actually got the maximum amount of turns to sleep. And I can go Amoongus. He goes for Hydro, misses, doesn't matter too much. Goes into Weavile. Um, maybe he expects my Heat Strand and goes for Knockoff. Um, I, I'll just stay in as he goes for Icicle Crash. Maybe it would have actually been better to go Heatran, but now that he clicked Icicle Crash, I can just go into Heatran. And I just attack here. Um, let's see. It's just Earth Power. He goes into Gliscor, but now I just go hard, hip out, and he cannot double because of the Sandstorm, and I just slack off uh, with hip out. And But I think it would have been better if I just sacked my Hippowden, uh, my uh, Heatran there. But I'm still going to win pretty much because now I wake up, I slack off. I'm actually going to Roar here just because he might expect me to slack off again. Yeah. I Roar him into the Weavile and Weavile goes down and now I'm actually going to ask him <laughs> to surrender. <laughs> GG man. And this is not to be toxic, but I can just PP stall him right now. I just slack off and I play around with some regenerator procs from uh, Tornadus. If he doesn't have any knockoffs anymore, then he doesn't touch Tornadus either. He doesn't have Earthquake, he would never kill Hippowden. Because he needs to go for like 8 knockoffs or something, and then I can slack off. So I can basically PP stall him from here. I cannot directly kill him, but the moment he doesn't have any PP, I just win. Thanks, man. <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy this battle. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. It's free, boys. Uh, click on the like button as well and leave a comment down below. But I'll see you guys in the next video.